completed not even have complete college have you know exceeded far beyond our and achieved success far beyond those who are highly educated and highly intelligent the very fact is that their eq and sq is extremely high and that's the reason for their success okay let's talk a little bit about the other power of the subconscious mind your subconscious mind is really like a hard disk of a computer system the hard disk is used to store all the data and all the files that we work on similarly the subconscious also stores all the previous experiences that we have had in life right from the time of birth till today every single piece of information that is collected through all the five senses is stored in the subconscious mind though we can't remember it it's all in there suppose you are curious to find out what is the color of the shirt that your father had worn when you were born well you can find it out you just need to take some help but that information is also there inside you the memory inside the subconscious is unlimited it keeps storing all your experiences it's all there which really comes to the point that there is nothing like a good memory or a bad memory because all the inf- experience information that we experience is all stored in there but sometimes we find that we blank out you know students when they go to exams sometimes they just blank out and the reason for them blanking out is because they close the doors to the subconscious how do you close the door to the subconscious by just becoming a little anxious you know that's what happens to most students they get anxious they are little worried they are you know thinking what will happen in the exam and when you get into that a little bit of a tense state you shut the door to the subconscious and you are not able to remember things from the subconscious you are not able to retrieve the files have you noticed that you know sometimes students just go blank in the exam they know the answer but somehow when they try to recall the answer they just go blank and they don't even know why after the exam is over they think oh my god i already knew the answer how come i couldn't remember this well what he just did is he shut the door to the subconscious by having that level of anxiety the worry the tension and that's what shuts the door off Okay, so that's great news. We all have great memories, and we just need to put it to use. Okay, the subconscious mind is a treasure of knowledge. You know, any creativity, any inventions, any few new things that happen in our life, or any new creation, where is it coming from? Imagine when scientists really sit down and invent things. Where are those things coming from? Have you ever thought about it? Let's talk. Take the example of Edison. you know edison when he invented the electric bulb there was no bulb where did edison get this bulb from where did he create the bulb from when wright brothers invented the aeroplane there was no plane as a reference point where did they get it from well it's your subconscious which really helps you create new things most of the creative people you know you talk about authors or poets or you know painters or dancers they are always using the power of their subconscious mind to come up with new and innovative ideas because they have to create new stuff every day business people and you know normal people like us would typically use the subconscious mind to come up with solutions to problems you know when there is a problem you would use your subconscious mind to come up with solutions now i'm sure all of you have done that but if we scientifically use uh, learn how to use the subconscious to come up with solutions to come up with creative ideas to come up with innovative things wouldn't that be a great plus well today the world is looking for solution providers nobody likes problem creators if you go to your boss and say boss i have a problem what do you think the boss is going to tell you the boss will say you are being paid to solve the problem please solve it and then come But if you go to your boss and say, "Boss, I have this problem, and here are the three solutions: A, B, and C," what do you think the boss will say? He'll say, "Okay, go for B." And which of the two do you think the boss will like? Obviously, the second one, because the second one is a solution provider. So, in order to succeed in business or in your career, you need to be a solution provider. And the good news is that everything is there inside you. You can create phenomenal solutions. and innovate new ideas and products and services 
at will. That's your subconscious mind. 